Paul Platt, you have a brand new film out. I actually met you a few years ago at a film festival in Winnipeg. You had done a documentary on Mennonite farmers. That was a very interesting project to watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. That's a seven points on Earth. Yeah, that's another Mennonite. I, I'm, I'm all about making Mennonite movies. So that's oh. another one. Yeah. Yeah, you got a brand new film coming out in November. It's called I Am a Mennonite Now, Paul Platt. We can all guess you are a Mennonite. <laughs> what, uh, what, what's the basis behind this documentary and what had you thinking about this project? Um, well, I mean, it's good that you brought up actually the Seven Points on Earth, the farming project. I, I uh, yeah, I'm a Mennonite, born and raised. Uh, I actually grew up overseas. Uh, my folks worked for Mennonite Central Committee, MCC. Uh, grew up in in Africa, and and I've always kind of connected to my to my Mennonite heritage, but but I've never I've never kind of explored it fully. And when I made that Seven Points on Earth project, it was exploring the the lives of seven Mennonite farmers around the world. Um, and it got me thinking about my own story a little bit. And I thought, well, how do I, what's my connection here? How do I play into all this? So, so I decided to kind of embark on a journey and, and it ended up kind of becoming this documentary, I Am a Mennonite, where I explore my own Mennonite roots and my own Mennonite identity. It's really interesting for me, somebody who's not a Mennonite, right? So I know there's MBs and there's GCs and there's EMCs, but yeah, what did you discover as a lot of people, I think, first of all, when I meet people across the world, I mentioned my wife's a Mennonite and they think old order, right? And uh, horse and carriage and that type of stuff. What what did you discover on this journey? Yeah, no, that's a good point. And also talking about MBs, GCs, EMCs. I mean, that's in Canada. Yeah, like, right. there's Mennonites around the world, right? <laughs> so depending on where you are in the world, they're going to look at, at what Mennonites are in a different way. I mean, I, so I traced my own family kind of lineage uh, in this documentary. So my folks, my family kind of traces their roots back to, to Russia, to Ukraine, uh, and then kind of goes even further back to kind of Poland and, and all the way back to, to the Netherlands. Um, and depending on where you go, you're going to meet people who are either kind of this ethnic Mennonite group who, who are there traditionally Mennonite, or you're going to meet people who have kind of become Mennonite within their lifetime or maybe just their parents' lifetime. Um, so it's sort of the, the definition of Mennonite that I really wrestle with in, in this documentary is, is, is being Mennonite, I mean, is it like an ethnic group or, or is it a faith? You know, what, what, uh, and, and everyone kind of has, that really runs the gambit. Everyone has their own perspective on, on what it means to be a Mennonite. But I do agree that a lot of people here in North America, when they think Mennonite, they think Amish. They think yeah. kind of old order, horse and buggy. And and I mean, that's another definition of Mennonite that's kind of floating out there, too. It's really interesting that faith and culture angle a few years, well, quite a few years ago now, like a decade ago, working at a church with a, a friend in ministry. He's a pastor that I worked with. And I said a joke to him, yeah. but just like, you know, teasing one another. It's like, well, you are a Mennonite, right? And he said, well, no, I'm a Baptist. And I was like, no, wait, you're Dirks and you're a Mennonite. And he's like, well, I'm a Baptist, actually. I grew up Mennonite, but I'm, and uh, that opened the door. I wasn't, I never thought of that before. Like Mennonite to some is a faith traditional practice and it's not just cultural, right? And your last name. That's exactly right. Yeah. And when you live in a, in a province like Manitoba, uh, or, or a place where there's a lot of Mennonites who kind of have these sort of quote unquote Mennonite last names. I mean, you're going to really run into that where, where a lot of people, I mean, Mennonite, that's, that's the food you eat. That's, uh, that's the jokes you make. That's, that's the town that you're from. You're from a Mennonite town, whether or not you go to church or, or that's sort of a, a part of being Mennonite is, is kind of secondary. Um, so yeah, that's a real, it's a real conversation to be had. I know in uh, Africa, actually, like there's a huge Mennonite community there, isn't there? There is. Yeah, there is a huge Mennonite community in, in Africa. I mean, I think I don't know what the numbers are now, but I believe that there's more Mennonites in the Congo, in the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, than there are in uh, anywhere else in the world. So, I mean, if we're talking about what it means to be a Mennonite, maybe maybe it's maybe it, it has more to do with kind of the African perspective than it does with with kind of the North American perspective. That's talking about the faith group then. Right. Though, I mean, that being said, there are Mennonites who live in the DRC who are third generation 
Mennonites. I mean, their their great grandparents were were Mennonites. So, I mean, what at what point does that become kind of your your ethnic group as well, right? Right. Yeah. Totally. That's really interesting. Uh, for you, what are you hoping people take away from this film then? Well, that's a, that's, a, that's another good question. I mean, for me, for me, it was an exploration of of again, like my own identity and 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 my own kind of uh, my roots. But I think that I think that on the one hand, there's sort of this historical story. There, there's talking about about uh, who the Mennonites were, kind of where we came from as a as a faith group, and how that ethnic group sort of formed. I mean, it formed uh, because this particular group of of believers they happened to move together and they happened to live in community for generations upon generations. That's sort of how the ethnic group kind of formed. Um, so on the one hand, we're talking about that that historical story. And I think that if people want to learn more about who the Mennonites are and where does that historical story come from, that that's important. I think more importantly for me, it, it's, it's talking about the faith journey. Um, and what does that mean? I mean, uh, I had a great opportunity and excuse to explore my own faith, wrestle with my own faith, um, meet Mennonites who share my opinion, who, who maybe disagree with me and and learn from that. And and I think more the most broad thing that I would love people to learn about is is just who who the Mennonites are. What is this? This is a, a great community of, of believers, a great community of people. And and to maybe get more of a, a, a sense of perspective. Um, I think a lot of folks, again, we come back to sort of met people thinking about Mennonites being kind of this Amish horse and buggy group. Um, that's okay. It's okay to have that perspective. But if you want to learn a little bit more about who the Mennonites are, I mean, uh, this is a great documentary to maybe maybe hope hope ha- help you kind of expand that perspective a little bit. Uh, tell us about the film, how we can watch it and get our hands on a copy. Yeah, it's, I mean, right now it is available for pre-order on iTunes. So if you want to kind of get there first, you can uh, go up and look it up on iTunes and you can pre-order it. Um, other than that, it's going to be released on November 2nd. That's our big release. And it's going to be available anywhere you rent or buy movies. It's going to be there. So uh, well, where did you find the best borscht in your travels? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. It's funny because borscht, we think about Mennonite foods as being kind of this, again, this sort of ethnic food. Um idea but i mean borscht is that's just ukrainian food so right. when i went to ukraine I, I ate a lot of borscht and that was really <laughs> great borscht. my wife she's a mexican mennonite um so for her i mean their mennonite food is is like tacos and, and mexican <laughs> food because mennonites are kind of just these sponges we go places and we pick up their local food and then we we you know we call it our own but uh i had really great borscht in ukraine a lot of different kinds of borscht yeah Right on. Well, I've seen the trailer. It looks amazing. I've seen some of your work before, too. So really looking forward to catching I Am a Mennonite. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you so much, Mike.